So a database is essentially a collection of data. And we will see that there is various ways of collecting this data, sometimes in tables, sometimes in graphs, sometimes in other forms. And the idea is that once the data is collected, it's possible to do queries on the data, so ask questions about the data, run reports, and it's basically extract the information. So the idea is to organize the data in such a way that then it's possible to uh, analyze it. Okay, so for instance, we have here an example to classify all the rooms in the hotel into a database so that it's easy to find rooms that have vacancies. We refer to database management system as basically a computer software that manages the database and interacts with the user. Interacts with the user, the user could be a human being, could be other applications. So for instance, we have huge databases and then programs might query those databases to, to get information, not the user directly. A general purpose database management system is designed to define and create relations and, and structures to, to, uh, to basically uh, store the data. And then it's designed to allow users to run queries, to update the content of the database, and do general administration tasks. So we're going to now go through some examples of databases, and then we're going to focus more on the most common kind, which is the relational database. We call navigational database. It's basically a database in which uh, records are basically stored one after the other. So we need to navigate records to uh, find what we are looking for. This was a very common type of database in the very early ages of databases when everything was stored on magnetic tapes. And so the idea was that things would be stored one after the other. And then uh, basically the database management system would have to run through the tape and find where things were. Okay, so this is kind of very old. Another kind of database is the graph database. This uses a graph structure to, uh, to basically connect nodes. So the idea is that we will have nodes that represent entities. In this case, will be people. And then an arc will represent some relation between them. So for instance, if you think about social network, the friendship, the date in which this friendship was created, that could be one property that we use a graph to encapsulate. And then we have all the information about the individuals and uh, you know what they stored, the, the pictures that they uploaded, that those all belong to the individual profiles, and then the relationship is friendship. Okay, so the node is the data itself and the edge is some sort of relationship between, between entities. Another kind of database is the hierarchical database. This is a database in which data is organized as a tree. You see here. For instance, in a grocery store, everything is a product. And then you can classify products in classes. You have the drinks, you have the foods, you have the supplies, you have things that are refrigerated, things that are not refrigerated. And then for each of these groups, we can have multiple subclasses. So for instance, within the food, we can have vegetables, meat, fish, those are all kinds of food, but each has their own property. 